Say have a good day, everybody. I love you, Winnie. Such a good girl. Valentine's Day, it's the perfect day to give somebody a DIY handmade gift. And today, do I have the perfect one for you? And it's using 100% Dollar Tree items, things that you can get at the Dollar Tree right now. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. What I love about this is that Dollar Tree carries these ornaments year round for just about every holiday season. They used to come in a five pack, now they come in an eight pack, that's even better. These are a DIY ornament, a wood ornament, and to paint them or stain them, I guess you can say, I'll be using some of Waverly's wax. And so with these wood ornaments today, you're gonna be seeing a lot of this Waverly wax. With these, I'm gonna paint four of these. Look at how cool these hearts are. Once these wood ornaments are good and dry, I'm gonna take one of Dollar Tree's square glass candle holders, and I'm sure you know where I'm going with this. I'm gonna put these hearts on the outside of the glass. Now for DIY purposes, for video purposes, I am using hot glue. I know that hot glue doesn't always stick the best to glass, but it's gonna work, it's gonna get the job done because I like to sometimes reuse my items after the holidays. And so if this is a piece that you're gonna wanna keep up year round, you are gonna wanna use a better glue like E6000. But really, I think that the hot glue is gonna work just fine. And so just by hot gluing these to the outside, I think that it's gonna look really stinking cool when we put a flickering candle in there and it's glowing through the cutouts of the heart. But before I show you how cool it looks, I am going to finish each of these hearts off with one of my twine bows and I'm doing it about three or four strands thick just to give this bow a bit of substance. It's a smaller bow and I think the perfect spot for it is right on the hole of these ornaments. Dollar Tree has these flickering, I guess, votives. If you wanna go with something a bit bigger, you can. I found that the larger pillar candle was too big and the light didn't go through the hearts, but once you turn the lights off and dim them a bit, you can really see how that flickering effect shows up through these hearts. What a fun idea, huh? I love DIYs like this, and when it gets darker, it illuminates even more. Let me show you another super quick and easy DIY using these wood ornaments. On top of the wood ornaments, you are going to need one of these wood palettes. These are by Crafter Square. They've got the twine hanger on the top. And as you can see, there is a theme to these three DIYs because again, I am doing these to suit my decor. These are a versatile piece. Take the idea, get inspired. And if you don't like the colors that I'm using, Pick your colors, make it to suit your decor, get creative. I dug into my stash and I pulled out these wood letters. These are also from Dollar Tree from Crafter Square. And I pulled out the X's and O's and I'm gonna give these a coat with that Waverly wax as well. For this DIY, I decided to go with the solid heart but I don't want the hole, and so a quick and easy way to fill in the hole is to use some Dollar Tree spackling. You don't have to wait for the spackling to dry to paint it. You can paint it before it dries. Just go in with a wet sponge or a cloth and wipe off that excess spackling. To paint these, I'll be using some of Waverly's chalk paint in the color of cashew, one of my favorite colors. It is such a nice, rich cream color. I just love it. I think it screams rustic when you add it with that brown wood. And so I'm gonna give both of these a coat of this paint. And I thought it'd be fun to add some stitching. And so an easy way to add stitching to these is to just get a Sharpie marker, any marker. I like the Sharpies because they've got a nice fine tip on them. And I'm just gonna add some stitching along the outside edges of each of these hearts. And I'm gonna place these hearts right here on top of this palette. This is just a fun, rustic Valentine's Day DIY that if you really wanted to, you could leave it up all year if you're a heart person. And so to apply these hearts, again, I'm just gonna use some hot glue on this part. 
However, I am not going to use hot glue on my letters because once you stick it, it is stuck. And so I'm gonna use some of Aileen's tacky glue because I feel like it gives you a bit more time to reposition the letters and get them right where you want them. This glue does dry clear and I've seen great results with it. It is a great repositionable glue and it really adheres well when using it in a DIY. And of course, I am going to finish this off with one of my twine bows. How fun is this piece? Quick, easy, budget friendly, and so rustic and farmhouse, I can hardly stand it. You can find these at Michael's. These are by Art Minds. They were a dollar in the dollar bins. Dollar Tree sometimes carries items like this. You can sometimes use the crates if you wanted to. I really liked the shape of these and I love that Michaels is incorporating more dollar items. I'm going to flip these upside down and I'm going to place them together side by side and to hold them in place I will be using some of Dollar Tree's jumbo popsicle sticks because this is a great way to hold just about anything together and instead of hot glue again I am going to be using Aileen's tacky glue because this really is a more secure glue and it's really going to hold these pieces together. I started off by painting this piece with some of Waverly's chalk paint in the color of white. Thank you to all of you subscribers that sent this to me. I really have had a hard time getting my hands on this, and so thank you, thank you. As I was painting the sides, I started to realize that on the front of this, where the trays all meet, that seam, that crack, I was really unhappy with it. There was movement in between the trays, and I just didn't like it. So I decided to go in with some of the jumbo popsicle sticks and you can very easily cut these to size using some scissors. And so I went ahead, I cut them to size and using some of Aileen's glue, I placed them on each of the seams. And so after I did that, I was very happy with not only the way that it looked, but it actually stopped the movement of the trays. Once those were dry, I was good to go and I continued on painting the whole inside and out of this piece with the white acrylic paint. For this piece, I kind of wanted to go back to a theme or a painting style that I had come up with a while ago, and it was one that I used on my three-tier stand, and it had a coffee and tea holder, a sugar dispenser. It was such a fun stand. I will link that, I promise you, in the description box below and on the end screen of this video. And it was using the stark white paint and painting on the Waverly wax on top of the paint. When you do that, it gives it such a worn leather look, such a rustic look, maybe that wood look that I absolutely love. And so after I painted this, I thought that the perfect finishing touch to this or the perfect detail would be to outline it with the wax paint and just give it that touch of brown, giving it a sharp contrast between the white and the brown. And I think that that is such a fun look and fun style. On the inside of these boxes, which I'm gonna call kind of a shadow box, I wanted to go with that X's and O theme. And since we are using the heart ornaments, that is gonna serve as our O. And to make the X's, I thought what better way to make an X than to use some of these popsicle sticks. And once they're dry, using some hot glue, I'm gonna place these right in the center of each of the wood bins. Because I don't want to hang this piece from the popsicle sticks, I did add one of my go-to methods for making a hanger, and that is some twine with a couple of knots on it, and just generously adhere it to the back of your DIY with a stick or two of hot glue. Alrighty, so getting started for my final two Valentine's DIYs for 2021. Again, these are gifts that I will be gifting to Allie and Kayla this year. These kind of remind me of palettes, just because I guess of the way they're broken up. For this first DIY, I am going to remove the twine. On both of the hearts, I'm gonna fill in just one of the holes, and it's the hole that is farthest away, if that makes any sense. So if you're putting your two hearts together like mine are here, 
you're gonna fill in the two outside holes with some of Dollar Tree's speckling. For this DIY, I am going the traditional colors, kind of, using some of Waverly's chalk paint in the color of crimson and white. For both hearts, I am going to be painting what I'm gonna call the first and the third slat on both hearts white. And I'm gonna be careful not to get those wood cross slats painted because those are going to be a different color as well. I will also be incorporating some of Waverly's antique wax into this and I'm gonna use this to give kind of that wood finish or just that blended finish and you can easily do that just by taking a dry brush lightly putting a bit of the wax on there and just lightly going over the wet white paint you don't want to wait until your paint is dry you want to do this while the white paint is wet because then it's going to blend a bit easier instead of giving you those stark lines then you're going to have to go over it with some sandpaper and so i think that this is going to give it kind of a fun rustic aged look just by using this technique here then going in with the Waverly Crimson, this is a nice bright red. I'm gonna do those last two slats with this. Once I've got these painted while the paint is still wet, I'm gonna go back over them with the antique wax, giving them that same wood brushed finish that I did with the white ones. Would you look at how cool this is looking already? Now I'm gonna go back in with the antique wax by Waverly and I'm gonna just do those intersections of the wood that's going across. And this is just gonna really differentiate from the heart to those wood pieces that are holding the heart together. This XOXO plaque is one that I picked up from the Dollar Tree at the beginning when they first put their Valentine's Day decor out along with that home plaque. Picked up one of each and because I sign all of my cards with XOXO, I thought that this would be perfect for Kayla's DIY. And so with this, I am staying true to my nature and I'm gonna go in with the antique wax and give this a good coat of that. My hearts are dry. Look at how cool these are looking. I love them. Now remember, we filled in one hole on the heart and we kept the other one exposed. Now we're gonna put those holes on the inside because I want to overlap my hearts. So when I overlap them, those two holes are going to be right in the center instead of the outside. And I'm gonna overlap my hearts just enough that those two points of those planks or plaques are kind of even, those points here. And you'll see just by using a bit of hot glue, I'm gonna go ahead and place it there. Now this is not enough hot glue to actually keep this piece together. So I am going to flip this over and reinforce it on the back side with about a stick of hot glue, as Kayla would put it, just to make it so it's not flimsy and to keep these two pieces together. Now that they're together, I'm gonna go back and take my twine hanger and just put it back through the holes and you'll see that this is the perfect size and where the holes are at and the other two are filled in so it looks like a finished piece. I'm gonna take my XOXO, I'm gonna center it right in the center of my two hearts and using some hot glue, once it's in place, I'm gonna just gently lift up the plaque and place some hot glue in a couple of areas. And there we have it, let's go take a better look at this. What do you think? Do you think Kayla's gonna like this one? We'll see. Yes, you're gonna pick up one of these containers from the Dollar Tree, I love the size of this, we don't need that, so we're gonna do away with it. You're also gonna need a pack of some of this decorative shredded paper. Before we put that shredded paper in this container, I'm gonna use some regular gift tissue paper as some space filler. Then I'm gonna go ahead and pile on the decorative paper shred right on top. Otherwise, you're gonna need, what, two bags, maybe three to fill up this bin, and because Christmas just passed, I've got some tissue paper. This here is a foam disc. It comes in a two pack at Dollar Tree. You're gonna need one of them and I'm gonna place it right in the center of the paper shred and just kinda make sure that it's surrounded by, yes, that shredded paper, paper shred. 
yes, hiding the foam disc that we're using. These roses, you're going to need two packs of them. Red, pink, you choose. Using some hot glue, I'm going to hot glue these roses to the decorative paper shred. Really, I'm kind of hot gluing it to the edge of the plastic container and to the foam disc there. The paper shred, because this container is somewhat see-through, is kind of acting as a decorative filler and there are going to be spaces in between the roses that you can actually see through and so yeah I thought that this was a good idea if you want to skip this you probably totally can but I'm not going to I'm gonna hot glue all these roses in here and you are going to need that foam disc for a purpose I promise you that but for now just like I said fill in this whole container with either your red or pink foam roses. These heart containers, you're going to need two packs of them. I'm not sure why I'm showing you three. You're going to need two. Eight hearts is all you need for this DIY. These hearts are super cool because they're kind of like Easter eggs. They break apart. You can fill them with candy if you want. We don't want to do that. These hearts have these tabs. It has to go. So I'm just going to use some needle nose pliers to gently break it off. I feel like these tabs were kind of an afterthought because they all kind of broke off in the same place. It looks like they were added afterwards. So just by gently adding a little bit of pressure and tugging, you're going to get the tab off because we don't want it on. If you want it on, you can leave it on, but trust me, you're going to want to take the time and just kind of break it off. Of course I'm adding twine to this DIY, some white baker's twine that is. We're going to need eight pieces that are about 15 inches long. And the twine, it's gonna go right here at the bottom of the heart, right there at the point. And we're gonna go ahead and just snap that heart closed. And look at that, the twine is stuck in there, giving us a string at the bottom of our heart. Yes, you're gonna wanna do that to all eight. In the party section at Dollar Tree, you're gonna wanna keep your eye open for these balloon sticks. You're getting a 12 pack better buy than just buying an individual balloon with a stick on it. We're going to place some hot glue on one end of the stick and we are going to attach our heart to the stick. Yes, just like so. Once you got that first heart attached to the balloon stick, that's all that you need to attach to it. Then you're going to take the other seven hearts and you're going to kind of glue them on to each other, making what is going to look like a heart balloon bouquet. So when you're gluing your hearts onto each other, you're gonna wanna do it in a way that looks like a balloon bouquet. See, there we have it, a balloon bouquet, just like so, and they're all just kinda glued together on the sides and on the bottom. You are gonna wanna do that using a low temperature hot glue gun, not a high temperature, because you will melt the plastic hearts. And right there at the bottom of the plastic balloon stick, the one plastic balloon stick, we're going to place some hot glue, going to separate those foam roses looking for the foam disc. We're going to puncture that disc. We're going to place that plastic balloon stick right into that foam disc, and it's going to stay because we put some hot glue. I found this adorable puppy that says, Hug Me at Dollar Tree. I'm making this bouquet for my son, and since his puppy, Abiza, is that golden color, I thought this was perfect. And this puppy is gonna go right on the top of those roses, and I'm gonna take all of the strings that are attached to our balloon heart bouquet, and I am going to place them in the puppy's mouth. I'm gonna add a cute twine bow, and it's gonna look like the puppy is holding a balloon bouquet. How stinking cute is that? How fun are these scratch stickers? Picked up one of each, went ahead and cut them out individually, and I thought that these would be really fun to add to the galvanized envelopes, the galvanized Valentine's Day envelopes that Dollar Tree has right now. And of course, because it's Valentine's Day, I'm gonna add a Lindora chocolate to each of them. This is also gonna go with the roses and the puppy. Alrighty, are you all ready? Buckle your seatbelts because we've got 21 quick and easy Dollar Tree DIYs 
for this Valentine's Day tiered tray. I always like to go over what paints that I'll be using. The color scheme for this tiered tray is going to be using some of Waverly's white chalk paint. And this crimson red is the perfect shade of red for this tray. The pink that I'll be using today is a combination of the white and crimson red and some of Waverly's ink. What's up first? Only one of my favorites. Have you seen this adorable decor piece? It would probably be perfect just as it is, but because it resembles a barn, I'm gonna give it a good coat of the crimson red. And look here. These are the embellishments that I will be using for today's tier tray. It is a bundle, so it is a vinyl and cardstock embellishment pack combined. You can get it for instant digital download for the bargain price of $3. Or if you want Linda to cut and send them to you with free shipping, you're gonna pay $6. You can find the link to Linda's Etsy store, guess where? Yes, as always, in the description box below. When I add a cardstock embellishment onto these DIYs, I like to use some of Dollar Tree's foam tape. I feel like it just elevates it a bit off the DIY. It gives it a bit of a different look than just say gluing it straight onto the DIY itself. Kind of gives it that 2D, 3D look. I like that look. These wood stickers are perfect for adding to this tiered tray. Shades aren't quite right, so I'm going to go ahead and paint them, add some stitching, and you'll be seeing a lot of these throughout this tray. So pick up a couple packs. And of course, I got to finish it off with the twine bow. The twine that I'm using are these big spools that you can get by Crafter Square. They've got some smaller ones, but I'll tell you now, it's not going to be enough for this tray, so I'd go with the bigger ones. The red and white and the white spool are just what you need for today's tray. Huh, I'm going to say it. It's adorable in a farmhouse way. This second DIY is another really cute one. Using this adorable decor piece. Yes, it's adorable, but it doesn't match my theme. So I'm going to give it a bit of a makeover. Did I tell you? You're gonna need a couple packs of these hearts. This piece here is one of three pieces that will have the vinyl incorporated on it. You and me forever. Um, am I allowed to argue that fact? Just kidding. I know I told you, but I really just need to tell you again, you're gonna need plenty of Baker's twine because I finished just about every DIY off on this tray with one of my Baker's twine bows, yes. Can I say it? So stinking cute. What a fun tray this is. You might want to put your feet up, maybe pop some popcorn, because we're only on DIY number three. For this DIY, you're going to need the wood heart ornaments. I love these. Eight come in a pack. You're going to need two packs because you're going to need a solid heart, just that plain heart there, and you're going to need the hearts that have the arrows. Or you could just do it with the solid ones if you want. I just wanted to switch it up a bit. For those of you who don't know, I love Dollar Tree's spackling. It is perfect for filling those pesky holes that come in all of these wood pieces. I gotta tell you, I don't think I ever really use these holes. I'm gonna say 10 times out of 10, I'm filling them in with spackling because look at that, once they're filled in, paint right over it, and you're none the wiser that there was once a hole there. Crafter Square, can you please just stop putting holes in them? I know they're called wood ornaments, but who's really using these as ornaments right now? Because I'm not hanging these hearts, I'm gonna stand them. You're gonna need a couple of these cubes. You can get these in a big pack by Crafter Square. I'm gonna hot glue them right here on the bottom. It's easier if you stand it up so you can get the placement of that cube just so. You don't want to put it too high or too low because then your hearts are going to fall forward. So it's just best if you stand them up and you get the right placement. Look at that. Just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Can I just tell you I love stitching. I would put stitching on everything because it really finishes it off. Have I said that before? Okay, okay. Now back to the embellishments. Linda came up with three adorable embellishments to go on these hearts to make them look like those candied hearts that have all those fun sayings on them. And yes, I'm using foam tape because it looks so much better. Just do it. Trust me. You'll be happy you did. I told you. You see what I'm finishing this off with. Look at it. It adds so much to it. It was missing it. 
so fun, right? DIY number four. We've got another piece that we're gonna be doing a bit of a makeover on. And it is these galvanized envelopes. Love these. And again, these are super cute just as they are, but yes, it doesn't fit the theme of my tear tray, so I'm gonna make it fit by giving it a good couple coats of that white paint. And trust me, it's gonna need a couple coats. The Waverly does not cover this in one coat. And I am going over the heart. Wait until you see how stinking cute this piece turns out. And again, using these here hearts, I'm gonna put one right over where that red glitter one was. That red glitter one was super cute and I could have painted around it if I wanted to, but I'm gonna like really that elevated look that, yes, this one gives it. That shade of red does not match the red that we are using, so better late than never, I'm gonna give this heart a good coat of my crimson red. Linda came up with this cute heart embellishment that says to and from, that is perfect to put in the center of the wood heart, and this is still missing something. It is definitely missing something there at the bottom. I know what it's missing. Mm-hmm, one of these. I am loving doing makeovers of these decor pieces. DIY number five. I'm curious, if you pop popcorn, what kind do you like? Do you like butter, extreme butter, or kettle? I'm a kettle girl. Dollar Tree has amazing decor pieces for Valentine's Day. I was loving this frame one. The colors, they don't work. The heart works, but the frame does not, so I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble it, and hopefully I don't break it. Yeah, I didn't see the slip at the top. Gonna give it a good coating of the crimson red, and with that, look at how cute that is. We are at DIY number six and lucky number seven, and they are just that. At Christmas time, Dollar Tree had these adorable ceramic trucks with a tree in them. Valentine's Day, they've got this adorable mailbox, and with just a little bit of paint, look at how stinking cute that turned out. Oh my word, I love it. Don't worry about perfection when painting these. This delivery truck, oh my goodness, I am loving it. When I saw these, I had to get them. The more imperfect they are, the more perfect they are. It gives it character. I am loving all these DIYs. It's hard to say which one is my favorite. Number eight might be right up there with one of them. It is using one of these DIY craft kits. Although this kit comes with everything you need to DIY it, I'm gonna use my own stuff. This wood truck is perfect. I did add some of the wood blocks to the back of it because I needed to stand and look at that with just a little bit of paint. Look at how stinking cute that is. We are almost halfway there. DIY number nine. This one's a repeat. Items like these wood frames are great for adding different heights to your tier tray, and that's kind of what adds character. At the base of it, I went ahead and added just a cute heart, and Linda designed a cute embellishment to go right inside of it, and like that, we have a cute frame, Valentine's Day frame, finished off with a red twine bow. Of course. We are exactly one away from being at the halfway point. Well, one and a half away. We're at DIY number 10. For this one, you're gonna need the wood hearts. Three of them. One larger one, two smaller ones, and some skewer sticks that you get in the kitchen section at Dollar Tree. You're gonna cut them down to size. The larger heart has the longer stick. The two smaller ones are gonna have the smaller stick. You probably know where I'm going with this. Yeah, I didn't forget. The shades of pink and red do not match, so they're gonna get a quick coating of my color paint, the Waverly paint. And to each of these cute hearts, they're gonna get one of Linda's embellishments that say XOX. In the wedding section at Dollar Tree, you're gonna find this three pack of pails, white pails, Crafter Square has some silver ones. I picked up the white ones to save me some time putting a piece of floral foam right in the bottom. I'm gonna stick the larger heart in the center and the two smaller ones off to the side. And what am I gonna fill this bucket with? Some sand. Again, this is one that you can find in the floral section. I'm not using white sand. Oh no, I found red sand. How perfect is that? I love it. You're gonna need one bag of sand 
Yes, there are other items you can use, but we will be using this red sand for other DIYs in today's tray, so you might want to pick one up. But look at how cute that pail is. Love it. What do I have for number 11? 11 is actually my lucky number, fun fact. How about these silicone molds? They come in a three pack, two pinks and a red. Inside the mold itself, it actually has this clear plastic piece that actually helps keep the silicone mold, keep its shape. When I saw these, I thought of cupcakes. I'm gonna go with the red one. I'm gonna place this clear insert back in there because again, I wanted to keep its shape and I'm gonna make a heart cupcake. To fill up that empty space, I'm gonna use the sand, the red sand, we've got plenty of it. Once I've got it pretty much filled up, I'm gonna go in with some of Dollar Tree's caulking. It makes for the perfect frosting. The caulking's gonna take a couple hours to dry, so before it dries, I'm gonna go back in with some of my red sand and add some sugar sprinkles to it. Why not? DIY number 12. Can I say it's all downhill from here? This is one of my favorite DIYs to incorporate into each tier tray because it's so cute using one of these mason jar seasoning containers. Yeah, mini mason jar seasoning holder, sprinkler, I don't know. I painted it pink, added some stitching to fill that empty space using, yes, the red sand I have it, why not use it? Once I've got that space fairly well filled in, of course every Sunday needs frosting, right? So I'm gonna use the rest of my caulking and add some frosting to the top of this sundae. We definitely need a straw, and because Dollar Tree has the red and white ones, it was easy this time, I didn't have to paint my straw. And I'm gonna top it off with my sugar sprinkles. Okay, my sand. For the sundae, I went a couple different routes. Linda designed this cute hugs heart embellishment, or you can go with one of the wood hearts. I put one on each side. DIY number 13. Yes, this is a repeat one. This is another one of those DIYs that I love to add to a tear tray because Dollar Tree has so many different words. Love Valentine's Day, why not add it? With a little bit of paint, some stitching, and of course, a baker's twine bow, we've got an adorable embellishment for our Valentine's Day tiered tray. We're at DIY 14. Hey, Valentine's Day is on the 14th. Haha. <laughs> These wood blocks, yep, you're gonna find them in the toy section. They're the perfect size for a tiered tray DIY. I went with painting these a couple of different colors and of course adding some of my famous stitching to it. Then I glue them together. This is another one of the DIYs that we put a vinyl on, spelling out the word love, putting a letter in each block. And I figured I'd top off the center with one of her Buffalo Check hearts. She's got a bunch of extra embellishments that she adds to the bundle. So you can really just kind of place them wherever you want on whatever DIY you want. So simple, yet so cute. We're at 15 and this one here is another repeat DIY, but I'm about to give you some options because I'm all about those. I have this tag pack, 24 come in this pack for $1.50 from Michaels. This is one of those things when you buy it, why not incorporate it into each tier tray that you're doing? It's kind of like the gift that keeps on giving. If you don't want to buy a pack like this at Michaels, you can use these chalkboard tags. You're going to get six or you can even go with the galvanized tin ones. Painting paper is fine. It works just great. You can see that I painted this and this tag here. Yep, it's gonna get the wood hearts that I gave a makeover to. A large one and two small ones. This tag has a hole in it, so it's calling, screaming for some white twine as its tag string. Is that a thing, tag string? Well, I'm making it one. I did it several strands thick. To the center of each heart, I'm gonna finish it off with the extra embellishments that come in the bundle, XOX. Do you want me to keep counting? Okay, I will. We're at DIY 16. How about we use one of these wood heart hangers? No, wood hanging decor by Crafter Square. That's what it says on the tag. It's a wood heart. I went ahead and slapped on some of that red paint 
put some of that white stitching on there and embellished it with this sweet arrow, so cute. And I'm gonna top it off with pink baker's twine. Now this is one that I had in my stash. There weren't very many items that I added the pink baker's twine to, but once I did, I was like, I really like the pink because it goes with the embellishment versus the red and the white. So yeah, you get it. If you want some pink, pick up one of the three packs from Dollar Tree. They've got it just about year round. And you're gonna set it on your tray just like so. If we're at 17, that means we have how many more to go to 21? Four? Yep, four more. Mini rolling pins are a must when you have 18 of them. Bought this on Amazon. You can find the link to it in the description box in my Amazon store. So of course I did it because it's a cute addition and using one of these wood stickers, it was a sticker, I took the sticker off and painted it red. Yep, see, it came in this pack here, right there, yep. We've got a quick and easy, yet adorable addition with some Baker's Twine bows on it. We're at 18, what do I have for you for 18? It's a seasonal item at Dollar Tree that you're gonna wanna keep your eye open for. These wood utensils come out right about this time, well, maybe spring, summer. It's a 12 pack, you're gonna get four of each, and they make for an adorable addition to a tray when you paint them, you add some stitching, and just add a simple, yes, Baker's Twine bow to it. And really, just looking at them, enough said. They're stinking cute. We are at DIY 19, and this is another repeat DIY with a couple of different options. Birdhouses are another one of those items that are fun to add. This birdhouse is one that I picked up from Michaels in their dollar bins. Dollar Tree has one that is very similar to this. I just really liked this one because it had the picket fence and the chimney cut the string right off of it. Crafter Square has this one here, like I was saying. So either or will work. All that really matters is it has the heart opening, so it's perfect for this tray. And with a little bit of paint and stitching, it's perfect. We're at number 20. What do I have in store for you for DIY 20? I bet you thought I forgot about the wood truck. Of course I didn't. I bought eight or nine of these because I knew I was gonna wanna incorporate these into each of my tier trays. You can find these trucks at Michael's in the dollar bins. Dollar Tree has one that is very similar to it. Well, not so much, but it's a truck nonetheless. I thought for the bumper, I'd add two of the Buffalo Check hearts to the front and the back. And on each side, instead of putting a number, I put an X and an O because I had a couple extra from my embellishment pack. When I saw these adorable mini foam roses and they were pink, I knew these were perfect to fill in the back of the truck with. I just love a good red truck, don't you? DIY 20, last but certainly not least, one of my absolute favorite DIYs to add to every tier tray would be the book stack. These are made out of one by fours. This is a piece of wood that you can get at just about any hardware store. I cut them down to five inches. One piece makes about three trays, I wanna say. And just by painting them and adding some stitching, you can make an adorable stack of books. This is the last DIY that Linda designed a vinyl decal for because we really like the look of the vinyl on the books versus the cardstock embellishments. And so on these books, it's going to say, all you need is love. I would agree with that, love of your family. When stacking these books, I do give them a good dabble of hot glue in between each of them, and I like to offset my books just a bit so you can see the stitching on each of the books. But nonetheless, we've got a Valentine's tear tray that looks amazing. Is this one my favorite? I'm not sure. I think they all are. Getting started with this DIY, what's great about it is everything that you need for it, you can get at the Dollar Tree right now. You're gonna need one of these tinsel heart trio sets. This is a wall decor piece. 
You're also gonna need some twine. I picked up this three pack. Why get one when you can get three for the same price? You'll also need four rolls of ribbon. I picked up two of this red and white gingham and two of this burlap, of course, with the red glitter heart. We're gonna start off by disassembling the whole piece. Once you've got the tinsel off of the frame, you're gonna see that there are these plastic pieces along the outside of the frame and the inside. Using some wire cutters, I decided to snip these off For this first frame, I'm going to use the gingham ribbon to wrap it. For the second heart, I couldn't resist this burlap ribbon with the red glitter heart on it. I am loving the way this looks. And for the last heart, I decided just to wrap it with twine. Used just about a spool of it. You can see that this here is what I have left of the twine that I used for it. So there's still quite a bit left. Using this twine, I'm now going to cut two eight inch pieces of twine. I want them to be the same length. I'm gonna fold them in half and I'm gonna tie the ends together in a knot and just kind of doing a loop knot here where you wrap it around your finger and tuck the ends through the hole here. This is just to make it a bit thicker to give me the double strand. And so this is what you should be left with. And we're just going to use these pieces to glue the hearts together and we're going to glue them together on the back side, gluing this piece on the top of one heart and the bottom of the other. And I'm going to do this again to attach the last and final heart. And because I'm going to be hanging this, I pretty much did the same thing using the twine. I cut about a 12 inch piece of twine, folded it in half and tied the ends giving me about a five and a half inch piece that I'm just gonna hot glue to the back of this top heart. And because I still had a bit of twine left, I figured I'd finish this piece off with one of my twine bows, and this bow is about eight strands thick. This is just to give it some substance, to give it just a bit of thickness so it's not just the one piece of twine. I'm gonna hot glue this to the top of the twine and I feel like this simple bow is just the perfect finishing touch to this DIY. I feel like sometimes less is more, the simpler the better. And with this DIY, it was such a simple, quick and easy DIY. It was really budget friendly. And we took this tinsel heart wall decor piece from the Dollar Tree. It was something bleak and we turned it into something rustic and farmhouse chic. Who is today's KB Creations crafter of the day? It's going out to Brenda Cochran, who's bringing to us her recreation of my DIY candle holders. That's an oldie, but a goodie. Thank you, Brenda, for sharing your recreation with us today. Quick, easy, yeah. budget friendly. I love DIY gifts that are just that. Until next time, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please, because I am and Bye for now, everybody. Baby, you're just sitting up like a human. Hi, baby. Hi. You're the best doggy ever. I love you, good. Say bye, everybody. Oh, that's your back way. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>